Alright YouTube, I have a, another clutch of all pythons that have shed out. And uh, I'm going to update for you guys. Okay, first one here. Now the breeding was a yellow belly. Well, it was actually a split father clutch. It was a... I bred a yellow belly, I bred a puma, and I bred a uh, instripe to uh, pastel. And um, the yellow belly and the instripe got the clutch. And the yellow belly was 100% uh, het for pride. So everything that's yellow belly. And everything that is normal, which I'm pretty sure the pinstripe only fathered one egg. Because all I got was one pinstripe. Now, he could have fathered some of the normals, but the reason I say I think the yellow belly did is because the yellow belly was a... The yellow belly male was 100% hemp for pride. So, half of his offspring will be a gene carrier for eyeball and this here is a normal and if you look you see those uh eyed markers so i mean it's just a uh, 50 percent possible hit but i think it'll prove out so that's a normal 50 percent possible hit for pied and it is I haven't sexed these yet. That's a little boy. That's a male normal 100% hit for or 50% hit for pie. And the next one here is another normal. Now I don't believe this one to be het. Now I'm still going to label it as 50% possible het. But now if you look at the belly on this one compared to the belly on the last one that I showed. You'll see what I mean. So they're 50% possible het eyed, But I don't believe this one is going to prove out. And this one is... A female. A female normal. Alright, now for these next two. These two haven't shed yet. But these are pastels. And I'm not going to sex these two yet because they haven't shed. And I know it probably doesn't hurt them, but... I just don't like sexing them until after they've had their first shed. So these are two pastels that were in the clutch. Okay, and the next one here is a little pinstripe. A beautiful little pinstripe. Sorry I keep bumping the camera. It's hard to do these videos by yourself. That is a beautiful, beautiful little pinstripe. Beautiful. I uh, haven't sexed this one yet. Let me go ahead and sex it. That is a little boy. Well, I'm producing a lot of males this year. Alright, now we have here a yellow belly. 50% possible hit for pied. Now, one of these yellow bellies, two yellow bellies in this clutch. Yeah, I believe it's this one. This one here, I believe, will probably prove out just because of the the tracks which you know those the tracks are not a hundred percent definite it's just an indicator and most of the eye the hep eyes the hundred percent hep eyes that i have produced well i say most all of them have had those tracks so those track marks are a, a 
really good indicator that it's hit pied. Now, because the father of this clutch, or one of the fathers of this clutch, was not a visual pied, but he was a 100% hit. He was a yellow belly, 100% hip eyed. So half of the babies, half of the offspring, will be carriers of the eyeball gene. So that's why I say some of them are would probably prove out, and some of them won't. But this one here, I think, would probably prove out to be hip eyed. And I believe I sexed this one earlier, and I think it was a male. It was heavy on the males this year. Oh, I think I might have been wrong. Uh, little A. Nope, that's a female. I was wrong. That one's a female yellow belly, 50% hip eyed. Okay, now if you'll look at this yellow belly, uh, this one here. I do not believe will prove out. Now it's still, I'm still going to label it a uh, 50% possible hit. I'm, I'm going to label all the babies that, except for the uh, pinstripe, because I know the pinstripe is, can't be, because it didn't come from the yellow belly. But this one, the reason I say I don't believe this one would prove out, now I showed you the belly on the last yellow belly, now look at the belly on this one. This one here doesn't have any of the uh, hip-eyed markers. But it is still a beautiful yellow belly. I mean, that, that male that I have is a very, very high-quality yellow belly. I mean, just look at the pattern. Look at all the flames. I mean, really, really high-end yellow belly. Do not know which line of yellow belly I have, but I know I have two different lines, and one of them is the, the male that I have is just stunning. When I first got him, I thought for sure that there was a another gene at play besides the hip eyed. But so far, nothing has come of it, so I'm thinking he's just a really, really stunning. Yellow belly hip eyed. Now this one, I know one of the yellow bellies was a male, so I'm, it might be this one. Yep, it's this one. This one's the male. Male yellow belly, 50% possible hip eyed. Alright. Last, but sure enough, not least. Now, this is the second one of these that I produced this year. I produced another one from the same dad, but different mom. I, had, I used a different pastel mom. I bred the yellow belly male to my other pastel female, because I was wanting to produce... Astel yellow bellies, which is what this one is. But on this clutch, this here clutch was kind of an accident because I was actually, I just put that yellow belly male in with that female. He only bred her one time and he fathered 90% of the clutch. It's just the way it goes sometimes. But this here is a male, I already sexed this one, Astel yellow belly. And it's a, just a stunning animal. And this one, I'm not sure on the hip eyed. I mean, it's 50% possible hip. It does have some tracks, but just not very strong tracks. But it still may prove out. Pastel yellow belly. Comment below and let me know what you think about these update videos. If you want me to do anything different, just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe.